been quite a while since I did a microbit video and my colleague and I, Jim, at the school, we were discussing microbit and what we were going to do with it next year and they came up with this idea for our year five induction day to make uh, heart sensors or pulse rate sensors. We found these sensors on Amazon for two or three pound, um, which looked like they'd do the job so we thought we'd, we'd try it. Um, simple three pin input, positive, negative and, sorry, positive ground and sensor or a signal and it runs um, at 3 volts so it should be ideal. When I got one and tried it, the first problem I had was you couldn't run power it directly from the microbit. It needed 3.3 .3 volts and you just weren't getting it from the microbit. So I run mine from the microbit power supply while I power the board um, from USB. If you look at the picture you can see how I've wired it up. I've got the power supply going into the uh, sensor and I'm running pin 2 to the analog port. So I went into Python and wrote a little bit of code just to read from the analog port and I printed out to the, uh, to the screen, not to the microbit, what I was being displayed. And as you can see, with me, with me not touching the microbit, or the sensor, sorry, the background noise is about 270. When I touch the microbit to get a pulse reading, you can see that that reading goes up. Now, I've not done it particularly accurately, but if you notice, about every pulse is going is around about 600, and the other ones are probably smaller readings as it's dropping back down again. So what I've done is I've taken the reading, and if that reading is above 600 as a rough idea, I then display the large heart, quick pause, small heart, quick pause, and anything else, I display a blank screen. So as you can see from the video that I'm showing in the corner, as I hold down the sensor, we get our pulse meter reading, which I thought was quite nice. So for £3, you can do a really nice, um, and you can make it very accurate, uh, pulse re meter reader. Um, you could attach it with a laggy band or something, so or, a, or into a Velcro strap, so attached to someone's uh, arm. But just using these very cheap sensors, the Arduino from um, Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe and come back for some more.